House. The full Senate is expected to discuss a bill tomorrow that includes certain civil rights protections for transgender individuals. Now, last week, a committee approved a proposal expanding rights for gay, lesbian, and bisexual Hoosiers while exempting certain religious organizations and business owners. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines is live with details. The discussion in the full Senate is expected tomorrow afternoon with a vote likely on Wednesday. Senator Ron Alting tells me that a proposed change that he's made he thinks will garner support from people on both sides of the aisle. Alting tells me he thinks the full Senate will likely advance a proposal that includes civil rights protections based on gender identity for housing and employment only. It's a change he's advocating for and one he compares to dipping a toe in the water on the issue of civil rights for trans transgender individuals. His proposed change defines gender identity as a person's gender-related identity, appearance, or behavior, one that would have to be shown by providing medical history, a consistent assertion in the last 12 months, or through evidence the identity is sincerely held, part of a person's core identity, and not asserted for an improper purpose. The bill provides exemptions for relig religious organizations in hiring and providing services based on their beliefs. Last week, Senate President David Long told Told reporters there are questions about the changes civil rights protections for transgender individuals would bring, including access to bathrooms. But I think if we limit it to these two things, that it takes a lot of that out of out of uh, the discussion, and that's really what I'm trying to do is find some ground here to get support of a majority of Republicans as well as some Democrat votes on a bipartisan way to move this bill through. If the Senate approves the proposal, it's just one hurdle to clear and faces a tough road ahead. That's because it's not guaranteed a hearing in the House. House Speaker Brian Bosma recently telling reporters that he will leave it up to his caucus, the Republican caucus in the House, to determine whether they will hold a hearing on the bill, even a committee hearing, based on whether the support exists. Reporting live at the State House tonight, Katie Hines, RTV6.